Of all the challenges we face, there really are only two that threaten destruction on a planetary scale, global warming and nuclear weapons. Nuclear weapons can do it in an afternoon. Obama was the first U.S. president to go to Hiroshima since the atomic bomb. And ultimately, the point of his speech was the combination of technology and nuclear weapons and man's proclivity to get into conflicts makes it inevitable that there will be another Hiroshima unless people stand up and say, we don't want this future. And precisely because that danger can feel distant from people's lives, in a way in which the entertainment industry can represent that, can really make a difference in educating people. Storytelling is such an important way to convey to the average person why, while this might be simmering under the surface, it is something that is vitally important that we speak up on and take action on. I believe that Abraham Lincoln had it right when he said that public sentiment is everything. With it, nothing can fail. Without it, nothing can succeed. I'm so thrilled that members of Hollywood are here. All of you can reach audiences that politicians never can. Hollywood Health and Society, for those of you who are not familiar with us, is a free resource to the entertainment industry. We're here to support writers and producers and other content creators to help them ensure that the medicine and the science that they're dealing with in their shows is as accurate as possible. These are the kind of people that we can connect you with. We have some pretty influential people here in the room tonight. Writers and showrunners and people who really have the ability to reach and educate millions of people around the world. As far as elimination of nuclear weapons, it's been a relatively bleak picture for the last few years. We still don't really have the tools to talk about issues around nuclear weapons and the morality of their use and the politics that surround them. We will not have a full democracy until we can take, as citizens, greater control of this extraordinarily dangerous technology. The most important thing to remember about this entire enterprise is it's comprised completely of human beings. That's the first step to making people feel like they have agency. One of the joys of working on the material we do is the research. And actually getting on the phone or coming face to face with characters enacting a drama in reality that you couldn't script. One of the shows that I'm proudest of working on is The West Wing. One of the best of things about that experience was talking to the people who are actually engaged in these issues that are sort of real life heroes. And those are people worth watching. We've had citizens' protest movements starting in the early 1950s. Then it led to the Partial Test Ban Treaty of 1963. The Freeze Movement, the same thing. People came out on the streets. Some people said it even led to the end of the Cold War and the radical reductions of nuclear weapons. There was actually a period after Manhattan got canceled when we kind of turned to each other and said, Maybe we should do a show about the nuclear freeze movement in the 80s. No. Yeah, if anybody wants to bankroll it. <laughs> and we see the same kind of citizen movement today. I think the American people are much more frustrated than they were even 10 years ago about war. And that's a bipartisan frustration. I'm so happy to see how much more synergy there is between the different groups. So it seems to me that this has to become a rallying cry for the next election. I'm very hopeful about this moment, but I think it's important to understand that all of us need to participate. We have a lot at stake. I think in the next few years, given all of the momentum that we're talking about here, we would love to see a no first use policy passed. We would love to see us begin renegotiating New START. And I think that that's totally possible. And the reason I do is because I'm sitting in a room full of people who on a Monday night have come out to learn about how they can get involved. Everything seems impossible to what happens in politics. But it is gonna take everybody playing a role. It's gonna take citizens playing a role, members of Congress playing a role, people in the entertainment industry who are the portal through which Americans hear the stories about themselves and the world that they live in. And if we do it, then I'm very confident we could be sitting here in a few years having an entirely different conversation.